Welcome back to Bet 99's The Parlay Show, Canada's sports betting show. Rob Conway, Albert Vartanian, and joining us for another segment here, Sean McCormick. Return of the Mac, yes. Johnny Mac. Happy to be here. We, uh, we went a little long there on the pitching staff in Toronto, but hey, it's a positive for the team right now. Well, now let's get into the bats a bit, and Vladdy's bat finally is heating up. Um, you know, from a betting perspective, I've always been a type of guy, when I looked at the Jays, at least the last couple seasons, as let's bet the team total over because they were hammering the ball. Hasn't been a lot of that, been close games, haven't been a lot of, you know, scoring a lot of runs. But this team is a second-half team, and they play a lot better when it warms up. What are your thoughts? How, first of all, how are you looking at Vladdy? We saw with his kind of his analytic numbers, his exit velo, his hard hit rate, all that stuff was good. Uh, do you think this is more what we're going to see the rest of the year? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I do. I, I mean, you look at Vladdy, and I, I think the Jays in general, people look at the Jays and they're like down on the Jays, and it's panic, like you talked about earlier. Mm-hmm. Panic City, panic city. They're still the 10th best team in the league. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's good. That's really good. It's yeah. just it's just unfortunate that three teams in the AL East are ahead of the yeah, Jays, right. right? So it's tougher to get into the playoffs that way. Right now, you're only a half game ahead of the Houston Astros. So when it comes to Vladdy, everything looks great. I mean, he's he's except for the home runs. I mean, he's he's got like 49 RBIs. That's like 16th in the league. A 284 average or something like that. That's like 30th in the league. Mm-hmm. Something around those lines. He's down to 11 home runs, which is like 68th, 69th in the league. So that's where the problem is. And like you said, with the whole lineup, is that they're just not hitting the ball out of the ballpark right mm-hmm. now. Um, but I expect it to continue. I mean, when you hit the ball as hard as he does, just positive results are going to happen for you. It's just a shame that his, I believe his um, launch angle is like 8 degrees or 8.5 degrees. So he's hitting into a ton of double plays, hitting a ton of grounders. Even if you hit it 113 miles an hour, you hit it right at a, at mm. a, a major yeah. league defender. Yeah, you're going to hit into outs, unfortunately. So King of double raise, plays, man. You just need to raise that launch angle just a little bit more. And he did that against Oakland on the weekend with his first two home runs in the Rogers Center this year. And he'll be just fine. He's already just fine, but he'll be even better. You yeah. can see the numbers. It's the expectation rise. too, right? Plus four hundred to hit a bomb today. Plus four hundred, yeah. Right? That's you go into the game. You got to sprinkle something. Yeah. Uh, what about the under one and a half? Which is going to no, be a zero zero Gosman no, game. No, yeah, no. Uh, plus four hundred for a bomb. I don't yeah, mind that. man. You go into the dome. He's feeling it right now. He's still at home, home cooking. This is great. It's a great spot for him. Yeah. Now, the Giants are a good team though. They're rolling. I think they won nine straight on the road. Something like, like 12 that. Twelve and two in their last four. They're one of yeah. like along with them, the Braves, the Reds. They're one of the hottest teams in baseball right now. The Cubs were doing well for a time there too. So I, yeah, the Reds have lost three in a row now. Yeah, I mean, coming you back roll down off earth. 12, well, again, and you're coming in and you're playing the AL East. I mean, na- I mean that was just last night. Yeah. But the AL East is just... No, you made a good point. Listen, we talked about this when the Jays were in last in the AL East. Now the Red Sox are last in the AL East, still above 500, can be top of the AL Central. That, that tells you all you need to know. When you're play, like, it, when, when it's the Jays against the Bo Sox after this Giants series, it shouldn't be, oh, the Jays are playing the last place Red Sox. They're playing yeah. the Red Sox, yeah. who are in the AL East, who can be the best team in the Central. Like that's how strong this division is. It's crazy. Yeah, like even we chatted about like I don't know a week or two ago, and it was like Jays have a soft schedule coming up. Yeah, and yeah, Boston's one of those teams, one like a couple games below you. We looked at the Giants as one of those teams, but then they go and reel off twelve yeah, in a row, and now you're like, row. well, now that's not so easy. And then we've got the Tigers uh, right before the All Star break. I'll be I'll be live in Detroit uh, to see a couple, oh, of, a couple of those games. Oh, live and on location. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna Johnny go. Mack. I'm All right, go. it's gonna be great. Let's just look at the NL for one second. Uh, you got league leaders, or you know, sorry, division leaders, Braves, Diamondbacks, and Brewers. Braves, obviously, they're like a World Series fair, but the Dodgers just snuck into with this little losing streak for Cincinnati are now in a wild card spot. Marlins and the Giants as well. These are the teams that are not. The Phillies, the Padres, the Mets, and the Cardinals. All teams that you would have thought were not guarantees to... I mean, look, the Mets and Padres, are you would think, are guarantees to make the playoffs. Yeah. And yet, the Diamondbacks look really good. You know, they have some you know former Blue Jays on their team. The Brewers, I think they'll probably right. drop off, but the Marlins as well. Which they don't even have Alcan... Alcantara or Alcantara pitching well. Like I mean, he's lost the complete. He's pitching complete, tonight. He's pitching tonight Go against them. Yeah, I mean, do you think any of those teams? Like, who do you think is dropping out though? I mean, the Braves aren't. The Giants and Dodgers, you wouldn't think so. You really just leaves two spots with the Brewers and Marlins. But the Mets are a disaster. Disaster. They're going to be eight games under five hundred heading into July. That just with a three hundred fifty million payroll, like that can't happen. The funny thing is, they score like six runs every game and still find a way to lose. Uh, and w- them and the Padres have the, like two of the biggest payrolls in the, yeah. in the game. Yeah, and to not be able to get a winning record above five hundred is nuts to and me. And they could be like, I think Buck's going to get fired. 
Yeah, no, there's there's right? heavy rumors about Buck Showalter getting like Buck Showalter is my co- uh, my manager. Well, anyway. he's a good manager. What about in like 2005? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 2005, sure. <laughs> Back when he was with the Orioles or whatever. He was linked to the Jays forever. Buck Showalter sure. never came through though. Sorry, Buck. No, not I, a fan. But to answer your question, mainly because he was the Orioles uh, uh, manager and they were there in the playoffs. Yeah. Who did he leave on the bench when Edwin hit that home run? Forget the closer that they didn't bring out. Edwin Diaz? No, no, no. For no for Baltimore. Remember? Oh. um... Oh, sorry, I'm putting you on the yeah, spot. Yeah, no, I know his name too. Mm. Sorry, anyway, it's gonna bother me. Pitch for the Yankees last. Edwin Edwin hits a bomb, three run, <sighs> they win, and it, and he didn't he didn't want to bring out his closer because it wasn't the time the closer was supposed to come in because they weren't winning the game at the time it was tied. Anyway, that's uh, that that's is... gonna really bother me, dude. We gotta Google that. You guys start chatting. I'll do the Google. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah no, I so I think that uh, like the Marlins just look good right now. They've got a young pitching staff that's doing really well. Um, so I could see them holding on to their playoff spot, believe it or not. Um, Diamondbacks, one of the best offenses in baseball. I could see them and and the and NL, getting good pitching. And El Cy Young leader too, uh, doing really well. Are you I, sinking I'm on that chair? Yeah, <laughs> He's I'm going shrinking. now. Am I taller than you? <laughs> this chair's a this chair's a little broken. <laughs> I'm pulling a charms here. If, if, if people knew that, I'll give you. Guys, so we'll, we'll, distra- we'll distract from, from this uh, from this uh, comedy act oh we're doing right God. now. I'll give you the initials ZB. Oh, Z- Zach Britton. Zach Britton. Oh, there we go. Man. We got it. Zach, Zach Britton. Britton. Yeah. yeah. Left on the bench. Edwin three run bomb. I great. popped my chair back up. We great. should be. We should be great better. moment no, for the Toronto Blue Jays. Eye level. <laughs> All right, let's get in. Let's get into. <laughs> let's get into some action for tonight. We're gonna do a little parlay. I already got Barney's pick. He's gonna go. He's been. Just smashing the Jays' run line. Um, <laughs> he loves For that, better yeah. or for worse, to be honest with you. But he's rolling with that again. I think that's an aggressive move against a very good Giants yeah. team. But Gosman's on the mound, uh, and the Jays do look better. So that's his pick. Um, but, you know, if you're going through the board tonight, there, there, there is a lot of interesting lines for me, and, and I'll, I'll tell you why. You got a team like the Padres, we just talked about struggling, minus 190 right now on the road against the Pirates, who are going downhill a bit. You got the Reds, who were just recently super hot at plus money as well against a good team in the Orioles. Um, Another another good one, which we're going to talk about, the Red Sox and Marlins, is basically a pick 'em. We have the Mets and Brewers minus one forty five for the Mets, plus one twenty five for Brewers team that you know. Quite frankly, we just talk about how bad the Mets have been. The Astros and Cardinals as, is a pick 'em. The Phillies and Cubs is a pick 'em. It's a very competitive night on the board. Um, when you see those lines, uh, how excited do you get? I get really excited because. I'm taking the Astros whether they're minus 160 against the Cardinals with Framber on the mound or minus 115. I get to see him at minus 115. I'm super pumped about that. Yeah, I mean, there's been some line movement too. I mean, uh, the Astros were minus 120 a little bit ago. Now they're down to minus 115 because the Cardinals hadn't announced a starter yet. Now it's Jordan Montgomery, who's a pretty solid lefty yeah. for the for the Cardinals. And another uh, line that moved too was the Orioles were minus 140 earlier today. They're up to mi- about minus 160. They're so fun to watch, dude. They're so fun to watch. They're so good. Andrew Rabbit's a nice young pitcher for the Reds, but he uh, doesn't strike out a lot of bats, so uh, he's going to be in a bit of trouble against a good Baltimore offense. But they're 19 games over 500 they don't have an ace it shows you how good they know Kyle Bradish nobody's talking about them but they should be I think (laughs) listen there could be a I'm not I was talking about them like you were you true there could be a race collapse coming there could be and if the race collapse there could be there could I'm just saying there could be there's a chance and, and the, the Orioles. I mean, this happened. The last Orioles year could win the, that division. Remember when last year the Yankees were pull about up that 16, 16 games up on the rest of the division, and they had a bit of a collapse. Uh, they oh, made the playoffs and still did really well. The Yanks are in trouble too, man. Yeah, the Yanks. Uh, and yeah. it's not just a judge problem. Like I was looking at some of their numbers. Like Josh Donaldson is batting one ninety five. Their team's not very good. John Carlo, don't call me Mike Stanton, is hitting like 200. Their, their team is not, very, not, their team is not very good. Pitching if, is an issue. If, it's not a judge problem. It's a Yankees problem. Like I mean, you got guys like, like Volpe and Cabrera that are young that you're trying to rely on a lot. Josh Donaldson, I'm sorry, obviously we know his past this But prime. he's not 195. Sure. Aaron Judge not playing. Stanton has not been great for a few years. Yeah. He, you know, he had 35 bombs, which is amazing. But still, DJ LeMahieu's not batting the way, you know, over That's 300. A big problem, dude. That's a, and they're pitching. Look, Severino just came back. He's struggling a bit. Rodon's never yeah. hasn't even started a game yet, although he's pitching in in uh, the minors. See if he'll come up. You know, a guy like Cortez who throws this weird Nasty 85 Nester? mile an hour. That's gonna get picked Mr. up eventually. Mister Sticky Domingo Herman. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Like, and listen, team. Aaron Boone needs to slow it down a bit. He's a bit insane. That I know he's like, oh, I'm gonna do what I want to do, but he needs to relax. Let's listen to this though. So you guys are spot on about everything you just said. The Yankees as a team in June batting 193. Oh my on god. On base percentage 254. 
and uh, runs scored 60, all rank dead last. This the is the Yankees. This yeah, doesn't I mean, make they'll sense. Do something. They'll do something. I what mean, are they going to do? Get four batters? Five? <laughs> I don't maybe. Aaron Judge, he just did an interview. He's like, I wish I can tell you guys when I'm going to come back. I have no idea. Then some guy within the organization, I saw this in a John Heyman article, was like guessing. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing that he's going to come uh, maybe two weeks uh, after the All-Star break. Yeah, but that, they, that's a guess. They replaced Aaron Judge already. Billy McKinney, man. He's oh, doing really we well. Here we go. He's batting like 319. Yeah. Whenever the Yankees are playing, go against them right now. I, I don't like them at Yankee, all. You want to know how 100%. bad they are? They're minus 135 against guess who? The Un- Oakland Athletics. Now oh, it's Paul Blackburn on the mound for the <laughs> Athletics. Give me some Blackburn tonight. I'll take uh, Paul, Blackburn Paul Blackburn against Blackburn. Uh, Yanni Brito yeah. in, is starting for the Yankees, but minus 135. I think Brito's more of like an opener type, I Probably, believe. but it doesn't matter. You're playing the Athletics to get minus 135. Yeah, I mean, that's where the Yankees are right now. Maybe you just take the under? What's the, the line there, eight and a half? Eight. Eight? Mm. In Oakland? In Oakland. Yeah, I don't hate it. Blackburn is not a fantastic pitcher, but he's been pitching fairly decently. And again, it's this Yankees lineup. Yeah. The, the, worth a shot. The Orioles are plus 860 to win the East. Yankees plus 1400. Jays 15 to 1. The Rays right now are minus 715 to win the you're East. You're not letting the Rays go. The Rays collapse go. Hey, you're, you're all over the Rays. I'm, minus 715? As, as soon as this show's done, I'm. I'm betting the Orioles to win the Orioles. Okay, I like it. Speaking of betting tonight, we are going to do the first ever Parlay Parlay. We already have Matthew Barnaby's pick because he's en route to Saskatoon. So he gave us his pick of the Jays' run line, which right. is currently at plus 120 on the book at bet99.ca. Um, I will start with you, Sean. What are you going to go with tonight? Yeah, I'm a bit reluctant with this pick, to be honest with you. I look, I was, I've had a really good gut feeling about it. Way to sell it, dude. I had a really good gut feeling about yeah. it. I started to dig into we the numbers a little bit. We have to all take this pick. You're not <laughs> supposed to yeah. say how terrible it is it's right not off terrible. the bat. It's not terrible, but I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. If I'm already going to be the guy who lets you down, I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's just going to happen, and it's going to happen repeatedly, so... Tread carefully. Uh, I'm going to go with the Boston Red Sox against the Miami Marlins. Again, Albert hit on it earlier. Sandy Alcantara hasn't been pitching very well lately, uh, giving up five runs. You think Manoa's lost it? Yeah. Yeah. This guy's the same 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 situation. He's got an ERA over five. God, I'm And he's playing against the the Boston Red Sox. Solid offense. Again, AL East. You saw the Marlins struggle against Mm -hmm. the Jays. I mean, they they did pretty well. But the Jays took two or three against the Marlins last week. Um and he's going up against Garrett Willock, who's been pitching pretty well for the Red Sox. So, gone into the sixth inning in his last three starts. So, uh, give me the Boston Red Sox at about minus 125 or so. The Bo Sox taking <laughs> down uh, former Cy Young. Winner. I also like the Bo Sox, maybe more than he does. Apparently. I do like them. Do you want to make your pick? No, I'll, no, I'll a few. I like, so I'll say a couple oh, team, teams I like before I give you the official pick. I like the, uh, I do like the Phillies. Sure. Because Jamison Tyon is an absolute gas can. The Cubs have only won two games when he starts. So, I okay. like the Phillies. But the official pick is going to be. The Diamondbacks over the Rays. The Rays collapse start oh, now. Okay. No, Zach Gallen, listen to this. At home, his recent home game logs here, 7-0, and ERA 1 with a whip under 1. He's unbelievable right now. I like There's it. one of the reasons why he's up there. Yeah, I'm going to go with the D-backs tonight, minus 125. Division leader. Yeah. I like I like that pick. All right, quickly for me, I am going to go with Framber Valdez. I think he'll win the Cy Young, uh, minus 115 against St. Louis. You put those all together, and guess what? It's plus 1230. Let's go. Let's go. The very first ever parlay. Parlay, that is what it's going to be, plus 1230. Good luck with that pick, <laughs> and we are going to come back to wrap the show. Sean, stick around. Why oh, okay. not? Right, sure, buddy? All right, it. here we are, the parlay show with Ben. 99. Yeah.